Hi, this is Billy from West Palm Dog. I'm here with Skylar. Um, and for, the, <laughs> for this session, we are going to be practicing some go to bed. Um, and I've specifically set the cot up uh, next to our kitchen here. We do have the baby gate for uh, extra management at the moment. Um, but Skylar right now is on a free, which means she doesn't have to be on the place or paying attention to me in any way. So um, what I'm gonna do, she will jump on there from time to time because she likes it, is I'm going to ask her, I'm gonna send her to her bed. And then I'm gonna start puttering around in the kitchen a little bit to simulate more of a home at home experience. Uh, because Skylar likes to counter surf and jump up on the chairs and generally get in the way when people are cooking or eating in the kitchen. So every time she stays on the bed, when I do something that's distracting, um, I'm gonna click and reward. Um, and the goal is to continue to increase duration here for the amount of time that she's on the place. So I'm gonna get her off the bed and then I will send her back to the bed. And once I send her to the bed, she's expected to stay on it. You ready? Three. Good. Skylar, go to bed. Good. I'm gonna wait for her to lay down. Good. And then I'm gonna start moving to the kitchen. So there I'm gonna reward because I went to the other side of the barrier create distance between us and she didn't move. So I want her to know that not moving is a good thing. It's the object of this training exercise. I'm gonna go ahead and sit down in a chair. Pretend that I'm looking at something. I'm gonna play with some food. So when she lays back down on the bed, I will click and reward. She's still on the bed, but I want her laying down before I give her reinforcement, because laying down is the most incompatible with jumping off. don't want to have to stare at her or micromanage her. Uh -huh. Let her settle into that down on the bed. Okay, I'm going to put her around a little bit. Get up. And every time I increase distance, and she doesn't move, I'm going to click and reward. So I'm going to pretend to prepare food. She doesn't move, she gets a reward. So she popped up, so the reward is going to be when she lays back down. I have it in my closed hand, I give it to her when she's back down. So I'm going to release her, free, which means she can get off the bed. She can stay there if she wants, but she's free to come off. And then we keep increasing the amount of time that she's on the bed until this is just the normal picture for her, but she did very well. 